make no mistake, I'm a sociopath. God, that sounded evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over coastal America. House after house after restraining order, everything just kind of blends in. If the divorce rate is 50-50, my mom landed on tails like eight times. So by the time I was 14, right, I moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts. After a while, you don't see a point in making friends. The vitamin C graduation song? Yeah, I can't relate. But then one year, all of that almost changed. For the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And then I like started turning pretty a month into high school, so the guys hitting on you social leverage was really awesome. The popular girls would talk to me all the time. And they were just stupid. Like they'd always been pretty. Never left out. Never alone. And when I think about it, all the thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. I was nice about it and thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. It's like not even good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, packing up the moving boxes. And that's when she told me we're moving out of state and I just got settled. I said, fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a neighborhood down. I put the boxes down, go over, knock on the door and boom, a gunshot. My second Christmas killed himself. I walked in, floor looked like a whole ass video game, just blood everywhere. And get this, his suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it, Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole by the way, hi, what the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game? Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. But whatever, it doesn't matter, nothing matters. I'm moving, again, city, county, state, all the same fate. But I've always said that while leaving. This time, it's on arrival. Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> Uh, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's, like, numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? I'm gonna be honest, you seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. Huh? Well, wait, most I've ever met would mean you stand out in some way. You're a very run-of-the-mill waste of time. I, I don't get it. what I do? You have time for the whole list? I guess. First, you wear classic rock t-shirts from Walmart. Girls don't compliment how you dress, so you settled for old people high-fiving you for being retro. Nah, people think I'm cool. Rapid fire of assumptions, tell me if I get any wrong. You call your bicycle a BMX, like energy drinks, take pictures of your skateboarding wounds, mention to anyone they can't get addicted to marijuana, and own a guitar pick necklace. Well, uh, all right, I I'll, I'll see you later then. Hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day, you sure about that? Whatever, all you hot girls look the same. That was real discreet. Gotta be. Especially cutting under this school security. Uh-huh. And a girl like you skipping the first day? Are you a bad bitch or what? I'm an abysmal bitch. Fucking cool. Rock on. So what do you do here? Like cheerleading? Doesn't pay, so no. Well, I'm on the lacrosse team. Last season we went 7-5, and five, like above 500, not bad. It's my life pretty much. How can you make lacrosse your life? There's no pro league for it, is there? Well... I'm sure they're out there. Besides, we only lost like five games because I fucked my knee up and couldn't play the rest of the season. But it's pretty badass because they keep giving me Percocet. Cool. Seriously? How much? Enough to demotivate an elephant. I got them right here. You want to do them with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good.
Like, I'd love to, but I kind of make too good of decisions to get high with a stranger. Oh, come on. Don't be a pussy. We fucking go to the same school. I'm a student athlete. People know me here. Yeah, student athlete's kind of the red flag here. If I pop too many, I'm going to wake up with my thighs covered in butter. Bro, I have done literally nothing to give you this impression of me. You ever played with a sleeping teammate's ass? Well, like not in a gay way. Uh-huh. How is that gay? Whatever, I'm going to lunch. It was nice meeting you, very straight, non-rapist. <laughs> yeah, making friends. <laughs> God damn, this school's nothing but rapists and pedophiles. Tell me about it. Oh, sorry. If you're sitting here, I can go somewhere else. Nah, I don't think anyone's showing up. Go ahead. Thanks. What's your name? Jekka, now, before I ask your name, I just want to ask what happened to you. Like, it took me two years to figure out the school sucks. You did it on your first day. What's up? A lacrosse player wanted me to get high. Like, Benadryl or a prescription high? Full-on Percocet, dude. Oh, that's, um, fuck, what was his name? Kyler, yeah. Yeah, he's a bit of a benzosexual. What the fuck's a benzosexual? Attracted to the unconscious. Oh. Well, hi, I'm Nicole. I just dodged a bullet. Cool, hey. Um, so the other guys you gotta watch out for are usually into some form of feet. Nicole! You ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just, like, waking up in general hurts. And I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like, 26. He just freeloads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not that. Good to know. Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Huh. So where are you headed? Look, it's the first day! No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the haha, okay? This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck, I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole, you want my phone number too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good! Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. So, gym class, showing our education system is pure evil. Why do you talk like a cartoon? What do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, what's up, doc? No, it's just this general, haha, I'm random cartoon channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? Do you mean like porn? No, just normal. Never mind. Huh, cause I like some wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. Try me. Huh? Most girls just scream and run when I say that. You're different. Well, are you gonna tell me or not? Why do you wanna know? Uh, everybody knows the coolest guys have depraved fetishes. Have you been on the internet? Maybe I'm looking for a boyfriend who can keep up with me. Uh, uh, all right. See me at lunch today. Maybe we could talk about it then. I'm so there. Awesome. Finally, someone to share my escapism with. Escapism? Yeah, I get lost in all these weird websites to get away from my gun nut stepdad. I think he was in Iraq or something. Doesn't matter anyway. I think mom's already looking for a new guy. A house full of depraved porn and firearms. What could possibly go wrong? What was that? Oh, just, I've wanted a chat like this for so long. So you like him how much taller than you exactly? At least like 12 feet taller, preferably 50. 
I want to be picked up with only two of her fingers. And what do you call that again? It's a giantess fetish. A woman so tall she can't even see those minute details about me. Like how I can't tie my shoes. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone to see that either. This is cool, what else? Really? Uh, well, I like it when cute girls walk all over me. Huh, you know, most people hate when they're taken advantage of. No, I mean, literally walk all over me? Love to be stepped on by a cute pair of feet. Well, hey, beats stepping on a scale, right? But yeah, unfortunately, most of my fetishes can only be realized through my anime. The realm of the living isn't quite ready for 50-foot-tall vixens. Yeah, the real world sucks hard, dude. Did I mention how I liked girls with cat ears and tails? Do they meow when you have sex with them? Well, I wouldn't know. Haven't done one yet? I haven't done anyone before. Shocker. I wonder if the library has volume 31 yet. Hey there, Jeffrey. Things better with your dad yet? Oh, hello, Jekka. Unfortunately, no. He used my toothbrush to clean out his new assault rifle he bought from China. Wow, messed up much? Anyway, could you buy me another Diet Coke? Sorry, but I can't anymore. My mom's been wondering where all my lunch money's been going. Aw, you're mean. You don't like me anymore. Again, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Maybe I should grow 40 feet. Then you'd really like me. Hey, (laughs) how'd you... (laughs) Maybe if you took your shoes off and stepped on his face. I can't believe this. She told everyone. It's okay, Jeffrey. Run away with me. I'll stuff you in my back pocket. (laughs) Shut up. He's feisty today. Meow. Oh, my God. So again, while I find the notes flattering, the boys need to quit writing bad bitch on my office door. I'll start tracking who left them if it continues. Well, it definitely wasn't Jeffrey. Oh? Fuck, you heard that? Why is it definitely not Jeffrey? Because you're not a cat. (laughs) Settle down now. I've heard the rumors going around about him, and you should all be ashamed of yourselves. (sighs) Ugh. Thank you. I was really... Just because he prefers alternative forms of sexual intercourse does not mean he should be ridiculed. Oh my god. Uh... Sorry, I'm a little out of the loop. What do you mean by alternative? Oh god. Jeffrey here prefers to be stepped on by women who look like cats, as opposed to standard intercourse with a human woman. (laughs) Will this stop? Class dismissed. You did this. Did what? Told everyone my darkest secrets. That was in confidence. Guess I did. Sorry. You ruined my life. I haven't touched my manga in forever. Not even cartoons entertain me anymore. Relatable. Do you even care? Do the results of your actions mean anything to you? Yeah, when they affect me, sure. No one in the realm of the living ever liked me anyway. Maybe things would make sense if I was dead. Maybe. I've had to start taking medication since you betrayed me. I also waited for everyone to leave just so you'd be the only one to hear this. Tonight when my mom's out with her new boyfriend, I'm gonna take the entire bottle. I'm going to kill myself. What? You chose to start this. But I won't give you a choice in stopping it. I'm sorry, did you think I have any form of emotional attachment to you? Why else would you have talked to me in the first place? Why would you have lunch with someone you don't like? It... it was funny. I knew you'd say some embarrassing shit. So you used me. You were a new student trying to look cool. So you just used me. No shit. In what world does a girl like me take interest in you? If you're that fucking stupid, maybe you should kill yourself. Fine. I'll give you your satisfaction. But not before getting mine first. 
You're the only girl I ever loved. Even if it wasn't real. You knew me for two days. Bye. I would have left a note, but there's only a two-second window between staring down the barrel of a gun and dying. I'm not even mad I'm dead. Through all the news coverage that'll cry about me for a week and him for a century, it might be best for both of us they rarely get the facts straight. They'll tell you I was a sweet, innocent girl who'd never turn an entire school against the anime kid. They'll also tell you he was a twisted mastermind who didn't want to fuck fictionally tall women. So yeah, he seems cooler than me now. But try talking to him.